The oil spill was devastating. The harm to marine life and sudden drop in beachfront property values cannot be overstated. Cleanup efforts were swift, if somewhat inefficient, once the great oil spill on the southern shore was discovered. Residents banded together and waded into the waters, often removing the slimy crude with their bare hands. The show of bravery and heroism was heartwarming and totally unexpected. Once the spill was contained, a BP technician attempted to plug the well with a cork and ended up destroying the platform itself. The fire was horrendous. Miraculously, the undersea life, whales, dolphins, porpoises, began to stir the ocean into a froth and then throw themselves and the cool waters of the Pacific onto the flames. This tidal wave put down the blaze and averted unfathomable disaster, but sent many brave creatures to their deaths, both on the platform and ashore. Observing the carnage, was a semi-submerged Greenpeace submarine, which has caused some to speculate as to their involvement in the initial spill itself. Adding to the suspicion, the sub fled the scene once detected. The larger tragedy is the loss of the cleanup ship, the Exxon Yatrola, which ran afoul of the tidal wave generated by the well-intentioned whales and spilled all of her collective oil back into the bay. Can this beach town recover from a second mass disaster in as many days?